Once upon a time, there was a very nice lady called Felia. She grew up all by herself. She had just built her new house. The house didn't look as safe as it was. There were spaces that could make you fall down. She didn't know how to fix these. She was really scared when she used the elevators. Oh. Whenever she reached some spot, she had to go upstairs and stairs and stairs. The house didn't seem like a house. It didn't have a secret area or anything. She had to use her own supplies. She'd get her own comfortable things, as it was for sleep or for not sleep. She would always sleep on her house roof, which was really bothering, since in the night, she would always pray to her beloved God to get a nice family and a nice house to live in. The place wasn't that safe to sleep in. Always there was stuff falling on her from, from over the sky, such as shooting stars. Ugh! Oh, shooting stars everywhere! I can barely even sleep! I'm gonna go downstairs. Ugh. And sometimes the elevator would get locked on her. Ugh. Let's go down. I'm so scared. Uh. I want to go to the basement. I'm scared. She went down to the basement and she would usually, usually sleep there when the sky gets too dangerous. I don't know what to do. Please, just help me, God. Sometimes I just need some help. And the next morning, she woke up. She decided to get ready for the day. I'm gonna go wander out a little bit. Maybe I can find a nice family to go to. She knew she had to find a family. Traffic was so loud outside, but she decided to become brave and go someplace that would make her feel more comfortable with her parents. Oh, I need to go up the stairs to find any parents. Alright, it's on my head, right? Her house looked big, but it was actually not a very nice house. And so it was really scary sometimes. She went to wander off in the furniture. That's when she found a lady coming right towards her. She found out that this lady, everybody has been talking about her everywhere. She was beautiful beyond words. She had beautiful brown hair, beautiful outfit, and red pants. She was said to have magical powers to, of saving animals and humans. Hello, should I help you? Do you need something? Is that you? You're the girl that's talked about everywhere. You're said to have magical powers of saving humans and animals from danger. And you're said to be the most beautiful lady in the world. Well, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be talking to you. I mean, why would you talk to me? I mean, look at how I look. I don't really have parents, you know. I'm all by myself living here and... My house isn't safe in the night. Shooting stars fall on me and get me hurt everywhere. May your wish be my command. Look at my house. Look at me. Thank you so much for that. Oh, where did she go? She's the best. <laughs> she, she's so nice to me. She's just... She just saved my life. I needed a very nice house like this, which is safe. Oh, and I'm so hungry. I must be sitting in the fridge. Hmm. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat some ice cream. Oh. Mm. Wait. I heard this is called ice cream, but I know it tastes so good. I thought it was frozen cream. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm. I'm gonna go ahead and close the curtains now. Perfect. Mmm. What is this? Mmm. Whoa, whoa, what's that? Um. Oh. Such cute 
dolphins. <laughs> Wait, are these dolphins? No, they're not. I don't think so. Oh, wow, I love this place so much. She was so happy with her place. And now she had a really comfortable place to sleep without shooting stars falling from space on her face in the night. Uh, and what's this? The story about the poor girl. Oh, wait, is this just like my story? Am I in a book? Wait. This book is famous around 100 people. I see them reading it all the time. It must have been that kind of lady with magic. Now she helped me. And what's in my pocket? Whoa, it's a phone. It's a phone. Wow. It's really pretty. And it, oh my God. A lot of people are texting me about my life story. How am I doing right now? I'm gonna go on a live video. Let me make a YouTube channel called Fiona. All right, and let's talk to them. Hey, what's up, amazing fans? Hey, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. No, I am the big fan. I'm trying my best to talk as loud as I want. I am her number one fan. You're just like, Number two one. No, I'm not. Guys, it's okay to fight. And how are you all doing? We're doing so good. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing well, too. So what happened about your life story? Are you fine now? I'm completely fine. Thanks to the... F wait. Um, do you guys know anything about a magical fairy? Like, Yeah, she's a beautiful girl in the world. So to have magic to save animals and humans. Yes, yeah, that's her. She's the one who helped me in my life. She kept talking with her viewers about her life. And that is it for our story. I hope you guys enjoyed my story. I did this all by myself since I always do my stories by myself. I am all the characters <laughs> and the voice actors. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you learned. The moral is that one kind of Agnes can put out love into the world. Well, not with magic. Magic isn't even real. But I just gave you an example of magic magic as an act of kindness. So, I hope you guys understood this video and took a message from me. And hope you enjoyed. Bye!